We're starting off the month of April with cool, somewhat breezy conditions, especially for the second half of the weekend tomorrow. But at least it's not the turbulent weather that we had for so months, so, so much of the month of March and back into February and January too. A few sprinkles or light showers possible. Best chance of showers this weekend is going to be north of the Golden Gate and right along the coast. Rest of the Bay Area, you might get a sprinkle or two on the windshield. That's going to be about it. But this just unsettled pattern. Again, not a turbulent pattern, but just hard to pin down exactly where the showers are going to occur. It's going to continue into the first half of next week. Future cast shows a few showers trying to make a run towards the North Bay. The radar simulation is far from lit up, but be flexible with any outdoor plans north of the Golden Gate and along the coast just to be on the safe side. And that's the same advice as we head through the rest of the weekend and into early next week. Again, that best chance of showers all the way through Monday is going to be for the North Bay and coastal parts of the Bay Area, while the rest of us will just see a few sprinkles. Everybody else across the entire Bay Area should see a better chance of showers shaping up as we head into Tuesday of next week. But even then, a few hundredths of an inch of rain, nothing significant on the horizon. The highest rain chance that we have over the next seven days it's going to be around 30% north of the Golden Gate today and then for everybody on Tuesday. And if you want to just dry things out entirely, well, look at the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This came out yesterday. They'll update it later on today, but it shows a significant chance of drier than normal conditions from Easter weekend almost to tax day and also a significant chance of above normal temperatures. So it might actually feel like Easter weekend just in time for that holiday. Today, it will not, but at least we're a little warmer than yesterday for most of the Bay Area. Just a couple degrees below average around San Jose. Everybody else running about five or six degrees below normal. We'll zoom in for a closer look. Mid 50s along the coast, low to mid 60s, warming up quickly as you go down the peninsula from San Francisco and then into the Santa Clara Valley, mostly mid 60s. Again, not bad for early April. Low to mid 60s for inland parts of the East Bay. It's below average, but it should be comfortably cool at least. Temperatures around the Central Bay, mid to upper 50s and low 60s and mid to upper 50s also likely for the North Bay because of the additional cloud cover and that chance of showers keeping you cool. And our neighbors to the north are going to be even cooler with a better chance of showers for Mendocino County and Lake County, only around 50 degrees for a high in Lakeport. That's not much of a start to the month of April. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast again for most of the Bay Area. The one decent chance of showers looks like it's going to hold off until Tuesday, but even then, a few hundredths of an inch of rain, nothing that's going to be life threatening or even notable. But we are going to see breezy conditions Sunday and Monday across the entire Bay Area. We'll have to keep an eye on that because of the tree situation in the wake of all those storms. The good news is we see some warmer weather headed our way by the end of next week. The seven day forecast takes us through Friday, but just looking a little bit beyond that Easter weekend does look like we are going to warm up to near or even above average temperatures. Something to look forward to as we get through a cool first weekend in April.